What's your craziest experience backstage you've ever had? Uh, say what you want, say what you need. But the truth, another truth, will never lie to me. Say that I'm wrong. Just... Who was your biggest person growing up, musical influence? Uh, I would say maybe Ivici. Like uh, in, the, in the in the electronic music wise, like he he has been through a lot of different phases, and I was a really big fan of some of the first electronic house, like electro house he had in the beginning. I was a big fan, and also the music he did later on. But yeah, he was been probably a big inspiration. What's one piece of advice you would give to an upcoming producer or DJ? Uh, read your contracts, that's for sure. What's one piece of gear that you always need when you're on tour? Uh, I have my Kindle with me right now. It's really good to relax and think about something different, you know? Where do you go to get inspired by new music? Uh, places like here. You hear a lot of different music the whole day. Everywhere in the streets in Miami, you see a lot of different stuff, so you get inspired, of course. And what city would you say has the most underrated dance scene? Brussels. Come to Brussels. No, I would go for... Uh, uh, Antwerp is actually pretty good in Belgium. A lot of stuff's happening there. They do a lot of cool parties, so uh, yeah. Who's your dream back-to-back -back partner? Uh, I would love to go back-to-back -back with Skrillex. Yeah, <laughs> put it on. <laughs> What's your pre-show and after-show ritual? Uh, pre-show is to chill with everybody, and after-show is to drink as much beer as possible. <laughs> What's your craziest experience backstage you've ever had? Uh, crazy in a good way or a bad way? I would go for a good way because we go for good vibes. Um, uh, one of the craziest was to be backstage at uh, Coachella and to see all those stars everywhere. Like every five meters, there's someone famous, and you're like, what? That was pretty cool. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever given you or done to reach out to you? Um, uh, I, I get it once from a Chinese fan, like a whole box of One Piece, One Piece figurines, because I watch One Piece, and uh, it's so funny that he, knew, that uh, she knew, and she gave me a whole box of all the figurines. Like, hey, this is for you. I was like, nice, but I have carry on. <laughs> I won't be able to take everything, so I took one, and uh, the rest was in the hotel. What would you like your music to do to the world? What's the message behind it all? I think mainly for, for example, today, it would be like we're all together, we're having a good time. Just enjoy the moment, enjoy the sun, enjoy the people, and uh, live the good life, you know? Definitely. What can we be expecting from you this weekend? Well, I have a new album coming up in uh, this weekend. This weekend or coming up for the summer? What can your fans be expecting from you in the near future? Well, I have a new album coming up, so I'm going to play a lot of new tracks for it today, at, uh, tomorrow at Ultra, and then... Uh, uh, yeah, I have a new music coming up, so uh, just you can expect a lot of uh, unreleased music, that's for sure. A lot of unreleased music. How long do you say you would you prepared for this moment, this weekend? Uh, I didn't really prepare it. I just came and enjoyed the moment. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today, and have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for having me. Hey!